this video I want to show you how to upgrade uh, from OCCFL to our UP54 series LED lights backlight uh, the screen number it's made by Samsung it's uh, LTM 150 X0-L01 um, this screen as you can see I have a cardboard I wear the cloth it's a little bit tricky to replace it pretty much you have to disassemble the whole LC screen assembly uh, but you can do it just be really careful uh, first of all we're gonna remove this metal frame first we're gonna remove this metal frame and uh, since this one had we had to disassemble, disassemble the whole thing I'm gonna start from this side first step remove metal frame by using a flathead screwdriver you can remove the clip one side at a time like our other video side at a time no rush you don't want to break these things and then you get your hand in behind because you want to hold this this uh, this liquid glass okay and then kind of flick over the metal of it all right so when you flip over you sit on the cupboard and you push the, the green module down and then slightly peel off this double side here now the film has metal film is removed okay Next, we're going to remove two tiny screws that holds a LVDS interface board, or you could go green board. After you remove two tiny screws, you tilt up this slowly, really careful. You don't want to damage these tabs. And then you lift up the bad assembly, like this. Now, we're going to set aside a liquid glass first. Here's an assembly, we just took it out on the back assembly. Next thing we need to do, we need to remove this plastic frame. Uh, there's a whole bunch of clicks on uh, on four sides. You just use a small flathead screwdriver, slowly, uh, you know, uh, uh, remove that uh, film, the plastic film. So let's start with one side at a time. Let's start this side. Okay, it's a little bit tricky, but just you could do it just slowly. Show you. Okay, let me try this side. All right, so be easier for me, but maybe it's not easy for you to see it. Okay, one side at a time, one side done. This side, this side, this side done. Now this side. Okay, just be really careful. Alright, you get your hand in behind. Just hold the plastic to get this side done. Okay, the last side. Right here. It's right here. Last one. Okay, just take it out the plastic, set that aside. You're gonna flip over this side. You see, there's few diffusion sheets here. What I would like to do, suggest you to do, is that there's a total of three sheets. Just tilt up the whole three three sheets, like using a either flathead screwdriver, tilt up like this the three sheets. Just lay on the top, set it aside. Now you see this is a plexiglass. Okay, we move the plexiglass. Okay, do the same thing, flip over on the top with the diffusion sheets. Now this is a backlight. You still have one more sheet to remove. This is back cover sheet. Take it out, set aside. Now you see the backlight was mounted here. So you move one, take it out. 
All right, one, you take out the other one. Okay, they both took it out already. Since this reflector is kind of small, we cannot uh, stick our UB5400 inside of the reflector. So, and uh, we are not going to use reflectors. Okay, we, we, we don't want to use this. Since this is aluminum back frame, so we can just, uh, uh, you know, stick our 54 series on the top and bottoms directly to the aluminum uh, frames. Before we do that, we're going to test the inverter uh, LED strip first. And make sure L slide up good. Okay. Ready to do the installations. Disconnect it, disconnect it, disconnect it. All right. Now, let's do one at a time. Remove a uh, double side cover tape. Okay. Now make sure it's six. Stick to the to the back of uh, the. Aluminum film, you see this? As you can see, that, but just do like this. All right. Do the same thing on the other one. Okay. Remove the double side uh, cover tip. Do the same thing on this side. Push it, push it, make sure it stick to the aluminum. Now it's done.